used to installing, maybe it was a Zoller before, but uh, a sewage pump. So like Liberty, it's an LE41 or an LE51. Mm -hmm. Traditional sewage pump in somebody's basement designed to remove solids, or remove sewage from the basement up to a gravity sewer line. Uh, the problem is people are flushing more and more things down sewers that shouldn't necessarily be in the sewer to begin with, and they're causing a lot of problems with traditional pumps. So Liberty's answer to this problem was to come out with what we call our residential grinder pump that is essentially a sewage ejector with a grinder attachment on the bottom that shreds everything before it's disposed into the gravity sewer. So basically you've taken a garbage disposal and a sump pump. It's a very similar technology, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Just mash them together. So that's that's the grinder. Huh? Yeah, so this is what it, this is what's on the bottom side of that grinder pump. These are two pieces of hardened stainless steel. This is a, a system that's designed to last the life of the pump. Um, there's no service required on this at all. But essentially, this this uh, this cutter here is going to rotate, and as debris comes in contact with it, this is going to shear off little pieces that then pass through this plate up into the pump and are discharged through the pump discharge. Wow. Would you ever install this in a house that has a septic system? It's a question we get a lot. Um, the answer is a little bit gray. Um, at this point, we would recommend against going into a septic system. Um, there's certainly people that have done it and, and have not had problems, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a gray area at this point. It's a new technology that really hasn't had time to prove itself in those applications. Okay. I guess people who are on a septic, if they're gonna do something like that, they just need to be a lot more careful about what they write down in their toilets, but they do that anyway. Right, so. and, and really, this isn't gonna be a lot different. If you have a septic system and you already have a sewage pump installed, mm -hmm. this isn't gonna be a whole lot different for the traditional things that go through there, human waste, toilet paper, it's right. going to end up kind of in the same state at the end of the end of the day anyway. Um, the only issue that you can run into in a septic is if you have a lot of foreign debris, things like baby wipes, cleaning wipes, things like that. If you put a lot of those down your toilet and they go through this grinder pump, the grinder pump will take care of them very easily. But those are the most uh, problematic solids that can get into the sewer system or septic system. Excuse me. What won't this take care of? Like, <laughs> what's going to hit that? And so this this is going to really take care of anything that you're going to see in a residential application. This is going to take care of feminine hygiene products, um, uh, cleaning wipes, baby wipes, uh, washcloths, and, and small rags are going to be okay. And the one question we get most frequently is for things that are are very hard, like maybe stones, uh, matchbox cars, toys, things like that. Because of the way this cutter is laid out in these very small holes, those larger solid objects no, never have a chance to get into the holes to try to be cut up. So they may bounce off the cutting system and go back out into the basin where they don't cause a problem and just live there for their whole life.